Hello students, I hope you are doing beautiful mathematics. In this video, we will talk about something called the Sophie Germain identity and surprising ways you can use it to factorize numbers. Look at this number. It's a huge number, of course. 3 to the power 4 to the power 5 plus 4 to the power 5 to the power 6. It's a huge, huge number. And this is an odd number and this is an even number. Powers of 3 odd number powers of four even number so if you add even and odd so this is odd this is even if you add them you will get an odd number now chances are that this is a prime number we want to show that that's not true we want to show that it is possible to factorize a number like this and for that purpose i will show you two different strategies of the Sophie Germain identity. Now, the first strategy is a to the power 4 plus 4b to the power 4. And the second strategy is a to the power 4 plus 1 fourth of b to the power 4. They look very similar. And the good news is both of them can be factorized. So if you can write a number in this particular form, then you can factorize it. Let me first show quickly why we can factorize it. And then let's see how we can use it cleverly in this problem to prove that this is not a prime number. It's a composite number that can be factorized into two parts. If you are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Oshini Dashgupta. I'm a faculty and director at Chinta Academy. We have outstanding programs for Olympiads, research, leadership, mentored path toward Ivy League universities. You can check the link in the description for more details. If you like math related videos, make sure to subscribe. We have plenty of videos on this sort of topics. Okay. All right. Let's look at this. A to the power 4 plus B to the power 4. I'll first work on this expression. So, it's a very simple factorization. It is named after Sophie Germain and a mathematician from France, I think. Um, this is A square whole square plus 2B square whole square. And then A square plus B square X square plus Y square is X plus Y whole square minus 2XY. Just to write it down so that you remember, x square plus y square is x plus y whole square minus 2xy. We will be using it here. So a square plus 2b square whole squared minus 2 times a square times 2b square. Okay, so we are almost done. a square plus 2b square whole square minus 4 a square b square. And yeah, now you see what's going on a squared plus 2b squared whole square minus 2ab whole square because this is 2ab whole square now we have difference of two squares and we can factorize so this is simply a squared plus 2ab plus 2b squared times a squared minus 2ab plus 2b squared the surprising thing is this that we can also play the same game with an expression of this particular format Let's see, I will quickly do the calculation. a to the power 4 plus 1 by 4 b to the power 4. So what can we do about this? Well, we can do a square whole square plus half times b square whole square. Okay, so a square plus b square by 2 whole square minus 2 times a square times b square by 2. Ah, you see what's happening, right? 2, 2 cancels out. The first case, 2 and 2 got multiplied and gave me a 4. And so I could take the square of 4 and a square of 2. Here, 2 and 2 cancels. So similar things are happening. So we have a square plus b square by 2 whole square minus ab whole square. And finally, this factorizes at a square plus ab plus b square by 2 a square minus ab plus b square by 2. So there is a slight issue that can can we think about b square by 2 as a number. So of course if b is even then we don't have a problem. So if b is even then this is a 
good factorization. So you have to be a little careful there, but usually this works out. Okay, so now we have the two factorizations, very similar Sophie German identities, and we will use it to solve the problem. Let's see how we can do it. Okay, I'll give you a challenge problem as well, okay? So here is the expression. Whenever I see expressions which are this kind of large and all, I think about the Sophie German identity immediately because, well, I've used it many times in many problems, so it sort of flashes in my mind. I'll just write it here. I want to write this as something to the power 4 plus another thing to the power 4 times either 4 or 1 fourth, whatever it is. So let's see how we can do this. So the first thing is, you notice that I can write this as 3 to the power 4 to the power 4 times 4. This 4 to the power 5 thing is 4 to the power 4 times 4, right? Which is 3 to the power 4 to the power 4 whole to the power 4. Oh, I have the a to the power 4 thing, right? Okay, so we are getting somewhere, we are getting somewhere. Now let's look at the second piece of the puzzle. Here, I will actually do one fourth of four times four raised to five to the power six. And you will see in a second why this works out. Because it's one fourth, four to the power five to the power six plus one. And we put it, put the second bracket here. And maybe what we can do here is we can divide by four and we can multiply by 4. Yeah, let's try to do that. Let's try to divide by 4 and multiply by 4. Okay, so we are almost there. This is 3 to the power 4 to the power 4 raised to the power 4 plus 1 fourth of 4 to the power 5 to the power 6 plus 1 divided by 4 whole to the power 4. Okay, so is this a proper number? Because I have created sort of artificially one fourth of something raised to the power four. But is this a proper number? Well, you can see in a second it is because three to the power four to the power four raised to the power four plus one fourth of two square. So four you can write as two square. Five to the power six plus one by four raised to the power four. Now two two cancels. So your final expression is 3 to the power 4 to the power 4 plus 1 fourth of 2 to the power 5 to the power 6 plus 1 by 2 raised to the power 4. Notice that this 5 to the power 6 is an odd number. You add 1 to it, that becomes an even number. So it's divisible by 2. So it's a proper power, okay? It's not a fraction. It's a proper integer power. So we now have the final expression, which is 3 to the power 4 to the power 4 plus 1 fourth of 2 to the power 5 to the power 6 plus 1 by 2 raised to the power 4. So it's a complex expression, but it just works out very nicely. So this it is factorizable. Only thing we need to check, and this is a challenge problem that I will give you. Only thing that we need to check is whether b squared by 2 is a proper integer so in the comment section tell me why b squared by 2 will be a proper integer in this particular problem i hope you learned something um, it's always very useful to learn mathematics hands-on so let's say if you want to learn sophie german identity always learn it using a problem that uses sophie german identity if you want to learn menelaus you can learn anything but if you you have to have the process right if you want to learn menelaus theorem use a problem that uses Menelaus theorem and then try learning how to apply the Menelaus theorem in that context. So learning by applications, that is sort of the strategy, okay? And if you are stuck, look at hints, not solutions. And if you are a student of Chinta and you are using the Panini 8 software, there is a fantastic place to look up hints. You can just go to the practice section, click on hints and check out the hints, okay? Uh, so make sure to do that 15 minutes every day. Thank you for watching this video. 
I will see you in the next one. Stay subscribed. Keep on doing great mathematics. Bye. Take care.